blown away by a little most right octave guitar from the late 60s. I think it was probably inspired by the short neck on the Joe Mathis double necks they made around the same time. Probably all started out with old Les Paul speeding up that tape machine to get his licks faster and faster. And then he and Joe Mavis and some others started taking half-scale guitars to do the same thing. So be sure to check us all out. Here's the long and the short of it. August issue, Vintage Guitar Magazine. TD-64 six-string bass, as seen in the August issue of Vintage Guitar Magazine. Three pickups, no waiting. Rockers, Vegematic buttons, and of course, the whammy bar which seemed to have been de rigueur in this era. here as seen in the August issue of Vintage Guitar. Just feeding back here on my Miazzi Supersonic. One of Italy's finest 60s guitars with the 9 volt built-in speakers in the front and the back for those of you who play with their teeth behind the head. Who doesn't? Expensive rigs that never got that sound. <laughs> <laughs> 